I want to do a study from the Bible on an error of religion. And the error of religion is when the Catholic Church states that they began from the ministry of Jesus. I am going to show you with scripture that the foundation of the Catholic Church is not Jesus and the Gospels. It's a man named Micah from the book of Judges. Now, just to let you know who I am, my name is Stiley Hayward. I'm in Daytona Beach, Florida. I have my baby book here that my mom kept record of. And the baby book, it says, unto us a child is given, a Catholic baby record book. My grandfather was Polish. My grandparents were straight from Polish, came over to America into Ellis Island. They were Polish. They were Polish Catholic. I am proud, happy to be a Polish. I am not happy, well pleased of the Catholic. Now, my baptism page states, my spiritual birth took place at St. Mary's of the Sea Church in New London, Connecticut on January 26, 1969, on a Sunday. My godparents were Janet and Henry Pucas, my, my grandparents, on the same date, January 26, 1969. I was born September 6, 1968. I spent 1968 in the hospital. I was a premature baby. So I grew up in St. Mary's Stardust Sea Roman Catholic Church from 1969, a few months old, until about 14 or 15 years old when I was given that desire, do I want to still go to church or do I want to not go and I did not go? But my Catholic Church is, or was, the St. Mary Star to see in New London on Huntington Street. And I read the record there in, in January 1969. My spiritual birth was January 1969. It was not. My new birth, my spiritual birth, I didn't need Godparent. My spiritual birth was April 25th, 1987, which happened to be my grandma and my grandpa were there. It was in their house, in her living room, with the presence of Joe Whitmore and Joe Caswell. In a King James Bible, I knelt down at my grandma's coffee table, and I asked Jesus Christ to save me. And I became a born-again Bible-believing Christian. I've already been out of the Catholic Church. At that point, I began to go to, to the Baptist Church, but in between the Catholic Church and the Baptist Church, I became saved. I was born again through the blood of Jesus Christ, for I had believed in the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now, it amazes me that there's been the churches that I've been in, I'm not going to say how many or who, they have absolutely no knowledge what the Catholic Church is or what it does, or what it had done. It's a organization that has killed and tortured and gave trials, troubles, and miseries to the Bible believer Christians of the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ in the Bible. The Catholic Church has done all it could to try to get the Bible out of the hands of the people. And one of those reasons is we're going to read in Judges 17, because if you were a Catholic and you picked up your Bible and the Bible says in Matthew, call no man your father. And you go to church, you say, father, so-and-so, father, so-and-so. Well, the Bible says I'm not to call you father. And there's been many a time that a Catholic has gone to his priest or her priest you know, I read in the Bible, and 
the church says this and the Bible says that. And the priest would rule on what the Pope and tradition overriding what the Bible says. And they will tell you that. You ask them, the, the, the authorization of the Bible and the church, who has the pre predominant feature? The church. They'll tell you that. I've had them tell me that. So, in the description I gave you, Catholic World Missions, that they state that the Catholic Church has begun in the ministries of Jesus Christ about 30 A.D. That's A.D. That's after the birth of Jesus. Well, we're going to be in the book of Judges. The book of Judges is the Old Testament, B.C., before Christ. Now, you're not going to find the name Catholic here as you're not going to find the name Catholic in the Gospels, as they, as they perform the same. Catholic, the name came later. It means a universal worldwide church. That's what it means. So we're not going to look for the word Catholic. What we're going to look at, and I'm going to stress, and, and you're going to say some of the things, well, you know, you, 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 you're, you're far reach. You're, you're stretching. I'm not stretching nothing. Because we're going to read the words of Judges 17 in your Old Testament before Jesus Christ is born. Judges falls before Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the birth of Jesus. So, Judges 17, verse 1, there was a man of Mount Ephraim, Israel, whose name was Micah. He said unto his mother, I'm going to stress words, mother. The Catholic Church will call themselves the Mother Church. She is the mother church. There's another mother of the Catholic church, and that is to them, the Blessed Virgin Mary. Now, I honor Mary as the mother of Jesus, but she did not remain a virgin. That's another study. But the church will honor itself as a mother and the mother of Jesus, Mary, more than Jesus, who is God. 1,100 shekels of silver that was taken, stolen from thee, about which thou cursed, cursed, and spank also in my ear. The Catholic Church would not say cursed, they would say anathema. My beliefs in many ways of the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ in the Bible, against the teachings of the church, such as the Mass. My beliefs, what God has told me through the Holy Spirit in the Bible, the Catholic Church has written down in black and white, that's an anathema. Anathema. You have no way of good standards with God except you repent to the Pope and to the church and get right. Speak is also my ears. It's the church that cursed. Behold, the silver's with me. I took it. He's a thief. He stole money from his mother, and his mother said, Blessed be thou of the Lord, my son. And there have been people, there have been organizations, there have been groups of people, I won't say any names, have gone to the priests of the church and they had committed vile crimes. And this is something that Martin Luther was against. And the name just went out of my head. I hate that. They would pay money to the church to be absolved of their sins rather than the blood of Jesus Christ. I hope this comes back to my head. This is one of the main things that Martin Luther was couldn't stand. I want to say penance, but that's not it. So the, the giving of money back to the mother church would be blessed. Hopefully it comes to me. 
We're only two verses and we're already looking at the church. I'm trying to think what that word is. And when he had restored the 1,100 shekels of silver to his mother, his mother said, I wholly, oh, whole, whole. Interesting how the Holy Spirit chooses his words. Dedicate the silver unto the Lord from my hand for my son. So you give the mother church the money and she will, to God, bring the money to bring you the blessing. To make a graven image and a molten image. There are images that are man-made. Molten means you, you take the metal and you red hot it into liquid and put it into a, a, a foam, into a cast. Raven means you get yourself a chisel and a hammer. They're man-made. Now, therefore, I will restore it unto thee. So now we got images and idolatry, which the church will call aids to worship. The Bible calls an abomination. It's in the top ten of the Ten Commandments, which is removed out of the Roman Catholic Ten Commandments. There is nothing in the in the Ten Commandments of the Roman Catholic Church about idolatry. idolatry. Commandment number 10 has been broken into two, 9 and 10. I still can't think of that word. It'll come to me about 3 o'clock in the morning. Yet he restored the money into his mother. His mother took 200 shekels of silver and gave them to the founder. This is the guy that, that man made, who made thereof a graven image and a molten image, and they were set in the house of Micah. There's a church. In the Acts of the Apostles, you will find they went house to house. They didn't have church buildings they have today. They met in people's houses. They met out in fields. They met in places in employment. They met not in a church building. But here we have, in the Old Testament, we have the first Catholic church building with images and idolatry in the house of Micah. And I can remember my days of growing up in, in, in the, the, the St. Mary's Star of the Sea Catholic Church. I can remember sitting in that pew and looking all around at all the statues. And this is Jesus when he, when he was walking to the cross. And this is the apostles, this and that. And there's, you know. I am telling you, I am teaching you from what I know, what I have lived, what I have witnessed of the Catholic Church. And we are in the Old Testament. We are in B.C., not A.D. This is before Christ is born. I'm still trying to think of that name. And the man Micah had a house of gods. So his house becomes a house of gods by the Holy Spirit, small g-o-d. Mary of the Catholic Church is known by all different kinds of names, Venus, Aphrodite, Esther, all different names. Throughout the ages. So his house. Has become a house of gods. Not the house of God. So you have. False worship. False gods. And we're only. Five verses. We're going to get into anti, against, which will bring to the Antichrist. You see, everything that Jesus and God have, Satan and the devil has a counterfeit. God has a city, so does Satan. God has ministers and preachers, so does Satan. God has followers, so does Satan. 
God has has the, his Christ. Satan has the Antichrist. God has a place of heaven. Satan has a place called hell. And this is all anti-Christ. I don't mean the anti-Christ. This is all anti-against God and his word. He made an ephod. Well, the ephod was a garment of the priest, the high priest of Israel. And there was to be no other. There was to be one place of worship. There was to be one high priest. A group of people called priests. Micah has now made his own house, his own temple, and now he's got his own garments or vestry, as does the Catholic Church. And teraphim. Now, this may go also with other religions, and I don't know much about other religions. I have not been part of them. And consecrated one of his sons, the priests are consecrated by the church. They have their robes, they have their vestry, they have their outfits, who became his priests. His priests. In the Catholic Church, you are given a priest. He is Father such and such. My priest was Father Fontaine. In those days, there was no king in Israel. Israel. Not the United States, not Italy, not China. Israel. Jewish children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. What, 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 a, what a great statement that is. What Mike is doing, not what God wants him to do. He's doing what he thinks is good enough. He, what he thinks he's doing is proper and right. He has not prayed to God. He has not sought God. He is doing exactly what his mother has told him to do. And there was a young man out of Bethlehem, Judah, where Jesus would be born. You see, there was another Bethlehem, but Bethlehem and Judah puts it at one particular place. And Bethlehem, Jehuda, uh, Judah, excuse me, would be later the birthplace of our Lord Jesus Christ. So you have a man coming out of where Jesus who has not been born yet in Judges, who will be born. Of the family of Judah, Jesus Christ would be of Judah, who was a Levite. Now, Jesus was not a Levite. But it's quite interesting to, to look at in the Luke. It says that, that Elizabeth and Mary were cousins. Mary was of Judah, Luke chapter 3. It says that Elizabeth was, I can never remember John the Baptist's father's name, was a Levite. He was in the holy place offering the incense at prayer time, which means they would be a Levite. They obeyed the law. So there is in the line of Jesus, Judah and Levite, but Jesus was Judah. Now, Levites were the priest class of people, only the Levites. There were 12 sons of Jacob. Levi was the only one chosen to be the priest. Now, all priests are Levites. Not all Levites were priests. Aaron was of the Levites. He was, he was of the Levite family. Only his children were to be the priests and the ministers of the office of the temple and the furniture. Now, there would be Levites. They would help in the temple. They would help about the duty, but they were not 
priests, only of the seed of Aaron, which means that John the Baptist's father would have been of Aaron. And he sojourned there. And the man departed out of the city of Bethlehem, Judea, I can't say Judah today, to sojourn, to, to live partially. Sojourn means a temporary jail, a dwelling, forgive my mouth, where he could find a place. He came unto Mount Ephraim to the house of Micah. Remember, it's the house of gods now. It's a, it's a building that has gods. As he journeyed. Micah said unto him, Whence comest thou? And he said unto him, I am a Levite, not a priest. I'm a Levite. I'm of the family of Levite, but I'm not a priest. He would say, I'm a priest. And I go sojourn where I may find a place. I'm, I'm moving around. And Micah said unto him, Dwell with me. Come live with me. And be unto me a father. This Levi is not Micah's father. But be a father. There are what? A thousand, millions of priests throughout the church history. They're not allowed to marry. They're not allowed to have sexual relations. They're not allowed to have children. And yet you call them father. I did up to 16 years old, 17, whatever year I got out of it. You will walk into the Catholic Church and you will call that man Father. And Jesus says in Matthew, call no man your father. I said that to the priest and I got a roundabout kind of answer. Well, you know. Would, would you call your dad father? I said, no, I don't. I call him dad. I've always called my, da my dad dad. My children has never called me father. They call me dad. My daughter's famous words are, dad! We don't celebrate Father's Day. We don't celebrate Mother's Day. And if you read the story of Mother's Day, take a little side note here. The author of Mother's Day actually regretted having that holiday come to be. On how commercialized it got. Back to the lesson. A father and priest. So he's a father and priest. He's too young to be Micah's father. <laughs> we don't read about this Levite having any children. So now we have a title of father and priest. There's a Catholic church. We have images on idolatry, Catholic church. We have a place of worship, Micah's house, the house of God, Catholic church. You know, every day, 365 days in a year are, are dedicated to saints and men and women as worship. There's, there's John the Baptist Day. There is, you know, Mary Magdalene Day. There is, you know, there's names not even found in the Bible Day. There is Ash Wednesday. There is Polka Dot. I mean, you know, No Eat Fish on Friday. There's Mardi Gras and all the other, all these different days of the year given to false worship. So here we have a father and priest, same person, Catholic Church. We're in B.C., we're not in A.D. We have a man that comes from the place where Jesus would be born. He's not a priest, but he's made a priest. I will give thee ten shekels of silver by the year. A priest is paid. A suit of apparel called Vestry, vestments, robes, and all the, the Halloween costumes they wear. <laughs> How they got to wear that little tag, you know, to identify them as their men of the cloth. So you will recognize them. 
at one time I was in an elevator, you know, a couple of women and one of them idiots come walking in. I'm in there. He's got a tag. I'm like, they go, even father. How are you doing, father? I say, good morning, sir. Don't you know he's a father? I said, don't you know I'm a preacher? I said, he's got to get up in that monkey outfit for everyone to, to acknowledge him. He's got to have the great place of authority, have people worship him, fall down and bow down to him and honor him, great honors and authorities in him. I'm in the secret house of prayer. Uh, they didn't like me. And victuals, we'll give you food, we'll give you clothes, we'll give you salary. So the Levite went in. The Levite was content to dwell with the man, and the young man was unto him as one of his sons. So Micah had sons. Now he has a father. So you assume that his sons will now call this Levite father. Roman Catholic Church is a family oriented. You, like I said, my great grandparents were Catholics. They raised their children. My aunt, my uncle, my grandpa Catholics. My grandpa raised his children to be Catholics. Thank God they fell away. They're saved today. I was brought up to be with my grandpa in the Catholic Church. Thank God I fell away and got saved. You will find that Catholic is from family to family. It runs back generations. Micah consecrated the Levite. That's what they do in the Catholic Church. They consecrate. That's what they do with orange juice. The young man became his priest. The young man. Micah is old enough to have sons. The young man became his priest. He's called father and priest. And was in the house of Micah. There it is again. If this man is truly a Levite, there's only one house he should be serving and working in. That would be the house of the Lord. That later on we will learn that's in Shiloh. He's not working for the house of, of the Lord. He's working for the house of Micah. He's not working for the Lord no more. The Lord God, Jehovah, he's working for God's. And he's in a place where God says, no images, no idols. Then said Micah, now I know that the Lord will do me good. Seeing I have a Levite to my priest. Well, you know, I'm good because I'm Catholic. I have been a street preacher, street ministry. My daughter was four or five years old. She's 20. And one of the biggest things I would have people come up to me would be, I'm good. I'm going to heaven. I'm good. I'm a Catholic. I'm good. I'm Baptist. I'm good. Good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You know, I, I love Jesus. We had a guy yesterday. We come out of a, of a store, and he's out there panhandling. I believe in Jesus. I'm Jesus. And, and because you got bumper stickers on your car, you know, Jesus, you need to be saved. You ought to be giving me food and water. I love Jesus. You don't, you don't, and he's telling me, you don't love Jesus. You don't honor Jesus. You don't know nothing, buddy. My daughter is like, well, you know, if you were really a Christian, you wouldn't be trying to force people to feed you. <laughs> My daughter knows a lot more. So we're not done. Chapter 18. In those days, there was no king in Israel. In those days, the tribe of Danites sought them inheritance to dwell in. Now, this is the tribe of Dan. For unto that day, all their inheritance has not fallen to them, which is the tribe of Israel. They have not gotten all their land they wanted. So what they do is they're going out, they're looking for land. The children then sent their family, five men from their coast. Men of valor, they're, they're well known, they're, they're popular, they're, they're reliable. And Zora from Eskol to spy out the land and to search it. 
They sent to him some go search land. And when they came to Mount Ephraim, to the house of Micah, there it is again, they lodged there. They stayed there. Now, this is a reversal of America. You see, Christopher Columbus brought the Catholic Church here. And then all the stories of, you know, down here in Florida and New Orleans, the Catholic Church came down here, was brought down here, and the Mexicans and the natives and all that. And Mike is kind of different. The explorers go out and they come to the house of Mike. And they stay there. They are lodging as a family in the tribe of Israel in a place that has images and idolatry forbidden. Listen, this is long after Exodus. This is well known. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make any images. Thou shalt not make any idols. Thou shalt not worship them. Cursed be. They're in the house of those images and idolatry. The, the, the Danites know what the Levites are. They know what the priests are. And they know who and what and what to believe. They know there's one particular place. They know there's one house of God. And here they are in a house with a Levite who's called Father. And I would have believed that Micah would introduce. How are you doing the Danites? This is Father such and such. Welcome to my house of God's. And this Levite would be dressed in the clothing against the clothing of God. They knew the voice of the young man, the Levite, and they turned in thither and said to him, Who brought thee here? What makest thou this place? What hast thou here? Now, see, it's grown interest. And the Catholic Church are big and wealthy and great and, and it will make you want to, hey, what, what is this? And your Baptist churches, we're, we're, we're going to organize, we're going to dress, we're going to cut the lawn, we're going to manicure, we're going to paint, we're going we're gonna to try to make our church building look popular, just like the Catholics. Because as everybody drives down by the church, they don't they don't ever come in. They're gonna say, "Oh, how great it looks! How wonderful!" How we remember, the, you know, you didn't have the steeple. Remember as plain it was, and it was a grass. We see what the building looks like. Oh, glory to God! How wonderful you must be! And the lad to see in church age, Jesus Christ is standing outside the door knocking. He's not going into that church. It may look good. That's what the Catholic Church. They got the most expensive, biggest, wealthiest buildings in the world. And the people are drinking water from a mud hole. They are dying of all diseases. And the church doesn't help them. And he said unto him, Thus and thus dealeth Micah with me. He has hired me. I am his priest. You weren't a priest. You're an anti priest. And he said unto him, Ask counsel, we pray thee, of God, that we may know. You better put that under small g. But Danites, the Holy Spirit said, The Danites are looking, we're looking from Jehovah. That we may know whether our way which we go shall be prosperous. And the priest said unto him, go in peace. Well, that's interesting. Because that's exactly what the Pope. Peace, 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 peace. You know how many wars there have been? You know what the Danites are going to go do now? They're going to go into a city and destroy the city burn it with fire, kill the people. That ain't peace. But that's what God told them to do. So the Jehovah Witnesses say, well, you know, we're not going to go into army. We're not going to go into military because thou shalt not kill. Well, this is exactly what God told Israel to do. Before the Lord your way, when ye go. So we're not going to read about this idol. We're not going to read about this thing. We're going to bring it back. 
Uh, I'm going to pick up back from Micah. All right, verse 14, 18, 14. Then answered the five men of the Danites, which went to spy out the country of Lashon. They said unto their brethren, the Danites, Do you know there is a houses of Ephod? Houses? Houses? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go back to 17. Verse 4. House of Micah. And the man Micah had a house of gods. So, Micah has his house. And he's got a separate building for his religion. And these men are going back to Dan. Hey, you see this church? You see how good this church is? That's exactly what your Baptist preacher. Bring them to church. Bring them to church. Invite them to the fellowship. Bring them to church. Anything but Jehovah. Anything but the Lord Jesus Christ. Bring them to church. That's exactly what they're doing now. And Jesus Christ hasn't even been born yet. This is what I call, and my people, Baptist, Catholic, Catholic, Baptist. The Baptist church has adopted the means and the ways of the Catholic church. You don't believe me? How many Baptist churches are going to celebrate Esther next Sunday? Oh, you, you mean Easter. Unless you've got scholars or you got Facebook that says, no, Esther is not Easter. And yes, it is. Don't cover it up. Those scholars are the same ones that say, well, Jonah didn't die and go to hell. He was in the membrane of the nose or something. So the ephah, houses of the ephah, so evidently that ephah has different houses to be in, because there's one ephah. I think Micah has built other church buildings. And he goes around in a circuit. Like you'll read about Samuel later. You got Baptist preachers here today. They're in one Baptist church. Yet they go all around. They travel to different churches. And they're not evangelists. They're a pastor. A teraphim, and a graven image, and a molten image. So the teraphim and the images has also gone to other houses. You can go to one Catholic church, and you go to two Catholic churches. You can go to four. You can go to six. You can go to 12. You can go to 100. You can go to 1,000 Catholic churches. You're going to have the priests. You're going to have the garbs. And you're going to have the statues. Every Catholic church has to have a statue of Mary somewhere and a planted grove, which the Bible forbids to plant a grove by the altar of the Lord on their premises. I'm just telling you what the Catholic church, and you can ask any priest and you can check the Catholic Encyclopedia. And they turned to the word, came into the house of the young man, the Levite. Oh, so the Levite now has a house called the rectory. Onto the house of Micah and slew him. Notice all the houses. Notice they, didn't, they haven't said church, yet it's a church. It's a gathering of people. And 
In the case of judges, it would be a family worship, as you would find in China and Japan and maybe even Russia. It's a family deity. You know, where the island nations, they would have their own little place, and they, you know, this is where you get karate, and they would have the founder of that family of the portrait, and they would have the sacred writings, and they do their yoga and whatever they call, and all their moves. That's the danger of a karate. It's not really, it's ancestral worship. This is the kind of thing that Micah got, and he's moved it all around. But his central point is where his house is. You mean like the Vatican where the Pope sits, the house of the Pope? And 600 men, interesting number, 600. How about 660 and 6? Appointed with their weapons of war. <laughs> Children of Dan stood by the entering of the gate. Five men went to spy out the land, went up and thither, took the graven image, the ephah and the teraphim, and the molten image, and the priest stood in the entering of the gate with 600 men that appointed with weapons of war. These men went into Micah's house, the other house, fetched a carved image, the ephod, trimica, the teraphim, and the molten image. Then said the priest, I know, what do you? What are you doing here? What's going on? They said unto him, hold thy peace. Lay thy hand upon thy mouth and go with us. Be a father and a priest. There it is again. It is better, always better, better and improved. This is a different label. To be a priest unto the house of one man, Micah, or thou be a priest unto a tribe and a family of Israel. Would you rather have this little country church? Let me bring it up to date. Or would you rather have this mega church? Judges 18, 19. Hey, you can have a few family members or you can have a whole tribe. You can have a little country church or you can have this big mega church. And the priest's heart was glad. Every Baptist priest would love to have a full house. He took the ephah of the tariff and the grave and image and went in the midst of the bit. So there's the stuff taken by the Danites, and the priest is like, hey, give it to me. I'll carry it. Do you know who was only to carry the, the furniture of the ark? There was only specific people that were to carry that furniture. If not, they would have died. This priest goes in there and grabs what is of Baal's. Because this is the this is the worship of Baal. And so they turned and departed and put their little ones in cattle, the holy cow, the golden bull. So they, they leave. Verse 23, and they cried and they said they turned their face and said to Micah. What aileth thee that thou comest with such a company? He said, Micah said, Ye have taken away my gods which I made, and the priests. You've stolen my gods. Listen, my friend, if you have a god that can be stolen, taken, that's not a god. Around Christmas time, I'll read or look at headlines. 
the baby Jesus was taken from the nativity scene. Uh, the statue of, of such and such was stolen and out of it. And I laughed my heart off because you know what? That's not Jesus. You can't steal my Jesus. You can't steal my, I don't have no images or idolatry. All right, you may steal my Bible, but that's not my image. That's not my idol. I've got the scripture in my heart. You can't steal from my heart. And if you kill me, it's going to go with my soul up to Jesus. Absent from the body and present with the Lord is all the scripture I, 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 I tried to memorize and did memorize. And the fact is with the Catholic Church, you can go in there and steal everything in the Catholic Church and there will be no religion left. Unless the Pope would send or the church would send more gods and images. There are Baptist churches where the pastor will die or retire or move. And as far as some of the people in that congregation, so will their belief in Jesus. Pastor dies, so will they, so will they spiritually. The pastor moves, they might move. Pastor retires, they will retire from Jesus. If the, if the church building is, is, is so burns that whatever happens in the church but so will their religion because it wasn't in jesus it wasn't in god it was in the building it was in the man it was in the idolatry that's a catholic church and then you know they had to say listen you better shut up just we'll, we'll do battle here michael shuts up goes on and he's crying Verse 27, they took the things that Micah made, man made, and the priest, which he had, came to Laish unto a people that were quiet and secure, and they smote them with the edge of the sword and burnt the city with fire. Remind you of, of Korea and Vietnam. Okay. Verse 30, and the children of Dan set up the graven image, and Jonathan, the son of Gershon, the son of Manasseh. He and his sons were priests. Now look what they did. The Danites set up priests. But not of Levites. A whole different tribe. Because the tribe is not meant. Jonathan, the son of Gershon, the son of Manasseh. He and his sons were priests. Now we got more than one. To the tribe. You see how it's built up? Unto the day of the captivity of the land. So these priests from this day forward. Unto. I'm trying to think. My brain's not working. I'm still trying to think of that other name. Unto. I'm sorry. Uh, the Ninevites were came in and conquered Israel north. And the children of Israel north went into captivity. To that time, this Catholic system was set up. I, I say Catholic because it all matches the Catholic. The Catholic Church did not start with the ministry of Jesus, it started with the ministry of Micah, and it grew to the family of Dan. And don't think just because of the captivity of land that this religion stopped, because later on, you're going to have a, a king who's going to make two Golden calves. And that is going to copy from the Catholic Church what they take of the golden calves. I mean, you look at the golden calves of Aaron, you look at that worship, that would match your churches today, including your Baptist church.
They set up Micah's graven image, which he made, man made. All the time the house of God was in Shiloh. All right, what's that last phrase? Here is God, Jehovah. There is Baal. Here is the church of Jesus Christ today. There is religion. There is worship. There are Baptist churches that are built upon the foundation of that pastor or the family that built that church outside of Jesus Christ. Don't think just because it's a church, denominational, non-denominational, whatever. Don't you think it, just because it says church, it's correct and right. Don't think just because that man gets up in the podium, uh, the, the pulpit, or wherever he stands at. Don't you think just because he gets up there, he is a man of God? Because Paul tells us in 2 Corinthians, that may not be a man of God. That may be a man of Satan. And Satan has ministers. Don't you believe in the Catholic Church that all oh, we're of Jesus Christ? No, you're not. Tell them go back to Judges. Because Judges 17 and 18 matches the worship of what later would be called the Catholic Church. And this is the dangers of Esther and Christmas. Because all that is is paganism made into baptism. And I mean baptism, the Baptist Church.